welcome to the exhibition Coworkers, the Network as Artists, which could be explained as network individualism. We are becoming more and more collective and more and more individualist at the same time. We embed these personalized networks and the networks they make up the person. Actually they take everything away what we are conditioned with, high, low, you know, rich, poor, you know, glamorous, non-glamorous. There's something where everything becomes equal in a way. It's the idea of utopia moving, in, moving towards the bathroom and the kitchen. You know, this very condensed um, infrastructure of resources that are in both the kitchen and the shower. So we wanted to kind of create this hybrid and condense them. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a really fascinating um, model because actually it promotes a kind of consumerism without consumption. We got very fascinated um, with the pin boards that were dedicated to interior design and renovation. Yeah, and you see, no, you normally see that as two separate spaces, whereas the bathroom is a more private space and the kitchen it's more social space. Like in a party where everybody ends up in the kitchen. Like because it goes back to intimacy, pub, you know, publicity. Take maybe a sustainability in the context of your own body. A lot of ideas are being created on a, on a, on a high-end level maybe, and then they are democratized. And if we are the first really to, to think about new ideas, then we give at least the markets the chance Maybe it is kind of a new religion, sustainability, in which you just believe and you want to do good, you know, even if you know that there will be no effect of it. To remind ourselves as well in a way that um, even if we speed up, that it's important as well to find moments, areas where you can rejuvenate, where you can step out of a little bit. This, this kind of merging, all this kind of digital data is their second nature. When we talk about body, I think the most important asset of our body is really our own health. So, so this is an inspiration to follow this trend further of finding merging possibilities between technology and our own human body to create hopefully or to maintain our health and create something positive out of that. It depends on the, the extent to which you think about the future, whether you're thinking about these things, what the individual might be like in the future. Are you making it for workers? Or are you making it for people who have a lot of leisure? To uh, create more conscious, to find ways of how does health actually and healthness and the trend towards does affect us as, as a company. Biotechnosphere, yeah. I think this is already showing that this is you know, merging more and more together. That. This has always strove to have a kind of radical receptivity to the present. Culture and technology is like running away from us. But at the same time, I think there's a certain knowledge that you know, those same products that are being you know, um, um, sold to us are actually being created by us. Water is not a human right, but connectivity is somehow. You know, So all these things, I mean, I don't think that the present moment could be weirder or stranger or more uh, um, futuristic. We talk about future, but future is happening now already. Somehow, by nature, I think certain things clear up a little bit. But if you're always afraid of it, then you always block it, and then it becomes a kind of a stress. You know, survival of the fittest maybe is now a survival of the smartest, you know, but smart being, you know, this kind of given and taking. I mean, it's not, your democratization of mass products has made the world more unequal. So how does that go together? It's also a question of like, what is evil? Things are, we, we really embody, you know, a kind of uh, like, like hypocritical paradoxical world. Critique is not some kind of applied layer on top, like by like some professionals who know how to critique something. You know, it's actually, in, it's in all of us. It's in the body of the public. Public has to live uh, out these problems itself, confronted with the work. And we do it every day with every decision we make. This is an evolutional step in a way. So, you know, so th the story goes on. And I saw because he knew working with me in Dormat, he would get this kind of aesthetics they were looking for. But actually is, uh, is not the reference anymore to the old world, it's something to the now.